Bake Off judge, Mary Berry, she's revealed that one of her biggest regrets in life is not spending more time on maternity leave with her children. She actually only took five weeks off when each of them were born. Um, and it is a, it's a really sensitive time, isn't it, when you've had a baby and you're even making that decision to go back to work. So should we just accept it's part of being a woman? We're all mother, we're going to feel guilty um, about going back to work. Did you feel guilty? How quickly did you go back to work? Um, I went back... I worked right up to the end of my pregnancy and then I went back when most of them actually were like a month or six mm. weeks old um, because when you're self-employed as well, you don't get yeah. maternity leave, yeah. so you have it's to go back. the quickest way to get yeah. you back to work. Isn't yeah. it? Um, but I have to say that from the moment my children were born, the guilt enveloped me from the time they put them in my arms really? because That's I felt quickly. responsible for them and, yeah. and I knew I had to go back to work at some point. And, like, Shane now is 27, Jake's 23, and I'm still, even with them, I still, I still have guilt. Do you? Guilt about what? A worry, I understand. I have the worry. The worry guilt. hits you straight away. But the guilt, I don't know. I just, I just always feel like if Shane's been away working or Jake and they get home and I'm not there, mm. I think, oh, I should have been there. When they, mm. Even though I'm away working, I think, oh, I should have been there. You know, I'm the mum. Mm. And... Uh, mm. I should be there to make sure that, you know, there's milk in the fridge mm. or there's, you know, and they're older, they can do it themselves. I mean, they're always saying to me, will you stop feeling guilty? But, yeah. but I, I just think it's, I just think it's, <laughs> it's just something that happens. And that's, it's interesting actually you say about they need you still when they're teenagers, because a friend of mine she, in our friendship group, she was the first one to have children. She's just had her first mm. grandchild actually. And I remember her saying to me when Jack was a baby and I was stressing about going back to work, she said, don't worry about it now. Honestly, oh, he yeah. won't even really know you've gone. Yeah. It's when they're a bit older. I think that maternity they need you leave more. should happen from teenage years. Because I think <laughs> I think you need to be at home with them when they're you teenagers. Lot of people agree because with you, yeah. you know, when they're babies, all right, you miss them like it's yeah. like someone has ripped your heart out when you're not yeah. with them. But as long as they're being fed and the nappy's being changed, they don't care who's sticking the bottle in the mouth or whatever. Um, but for me, I think teenagers, and they act like they don't want you around. They act like they hate you. Actually. They come in, they go, <laughs> the you go, Run all right, and they go, mm, and go, <laughs> go upstairs or whatever. But I, I've really felt that they needed me at their most when they're teenagers because yeah, I think that's the going through the teenage yeah. angst mm. and exams mm. and everything Girl really is a drama. I know, I know you say that you, they don't notice it, but Rafferty, my little one, is 16 months. And when my mum's looking after him and my mother-in-law's looking after him, I feel so safe, it's great, they're wonderful with him. But I go in and he sort of gives me a filthy look. <laughs> he does, I go, he does, he does, he does. Do you not think he that's your guilt? Goes, oh, no, yeah. he, 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 look, he I gives me a filthy look. 16 months, I think he would 16 know 16 you. months, I think, no, and, no, he, and he goes to my mum, like, I'll go, come here, and he'll go, nanny, and he'll go up to my, to my mum. I'm like, ooh. Well, that's because Nanny gives him sweets, probably, or yeah. something. Yeah, and what sits, which I keep telling them They don't really have any concept of time at that age. They don't, but they know that you're... No one else's mum. they do know But no one else is mum. Oh, they know that. And he kind of his arms I don't know if you've been gone ten minutes or ten hours. Yeah. No, but he just knows I haven't been there. And I started work again, you know, self-employed. I was doing gigs and stuff after two months, felt all inspired, ready to face the world. And then once that sort of subsided, just, I showed myself I could do it, then the guilt started to sort of kick in. And, and I'm constantly, I think, I will, for the rest of my life, <laughs> have one <laughs> foot of guilt and one foot of got to do what I've got to do, and you just get on with it, don't well, you've you? you've done it twice, Jane. Yeah, so. I, I was almost like two different parents because my older daughter, uh, Ellie, who's just about to be 24, I was working full-time when she was young and I was a single mum. So it was very much... If I didn't earn money, it wasn't going to happen. So, um, but I was a bit spoiled in that I had my mum yeah. to, to help me out. So I, I could kind of... So I had a few sort of nights where I'd be rushing home from work and be at a red light and go, oh, my God, oh, my God. But you know what? She's grown up to be an amazing young woman with a great work ethic. She's never said to me, oh, my God, why weren't you there for that mm. netball match in the afternoon? My youngest, Grace, who's 12, because I'm now self-employed and I'm, my work's more flexible, I'm there for everything, mm. everything. Mm. Um, and, you know, but I, I don't feel guilty about the older, the older daughter's sort mm. of lost years, I guess. Um, but what because about I think you do well, what you do. And we... I think, you know, a lot of women <laughs> watching this don't have this choice that, that we have of flexibility. You mm. know, they work in... A shop or a factory or a supermarket or whatever, and they've got to be. If they're not there at 9 a.m. and they're still there at 5 p.m., no, they totally, don't get their lunch I, I totally agree. I mean, my parents were working, 
um, all the time when growing up and so they never came to like a parents day or a sports day because they were busy yeah. now it didn't make me love my parents any less no, at no. all but, but do I do it. remember the feeling of kind of looking out, hoping they were there. I felt like that, my mum. Yeah. But it didn't make me love school. them less. Did you? Yeah, I used to feel so jealous of the other kids that their mums and dads or dads would pick them up from school. And I used to walk back on my own. And, I've, you know, I'd never mentioned it to my mum until much later. Um, but I knew that she was out there making a living, giving me what I needed. Yeah. You know, we knew that. It was just my mum. She was a single parent. We had that close friendship. She was like, I can do that and be there for school. Or I can get and you what you need. that's the thing. Children are yeah. often more accepting of things, totally. aren't they? Because my, my mm. dad was in the army, so we travelled a lot. And eventually my sister and I went to boarding school. So my parents thought that was better for our education yeah. to not move around. I loved it. But the one thing I did miss was um, when we did plays and things, and I was in the drama group and things, my parents were never there because they were abroad. It didn't yeah. scar me no, for life no. or things. But like you, I now go to everything, yeah, I or I try as hard as I can to go to everything mm. that Jack does, probably because that's just my yeah. kind of little thing. Yeah, and there'll um, be something else. Talk about men. <laughs> because we can't talk about mother's yeah, my guilt. Husband, Gary, Gary he's, he's even more hands-on than I am, actually. Yeah. He's... he's literally there for absolutely everything and and he was offered a, a few years ago he was offered a really big job in, a, in australia that would have taken him away for 10 weeks turned it down did he because he, yeah. he knew that he would miss grace not too you much. <laughs> not she you. was like oh dad why didn't you take it that would have been so cool yeah. and no wouldn't go so it's you know, men feel the same thing, jack's the same jack's exactly the same yeah. he could be in nashville now doing a writing yeah. session for some country act and he can't leave rafferty at the moment he's too young you know and every week he's changing every day he's changing i can't miss that there's plenty more where that came from just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. When do you decide, Grace, or how do you decide what days you want to dress up? I tend to dress or... up when other people dress up. You know, yeah. like, if you're going to get dressed up, for, you know, for a thing like this, you might put on something special. Or if you're going out in the evening and everybody is going to put on a nice dress, you know, then that's when I'll put on a dress, you know. It's like you do it to add to the jollity of the occasion.